Good day everyone, welcome to Petrogrid's YouTube channel. Today we will be addressing how to prepare your WITSML data to do analytics with Power BI. One of the main challenges to WITSML analytics is assembling the data of interest. If you've ever tried to assemble WITSML data, you'd have most likely encountered at least one or all three of the following problems. Combining multiple WITSML files according to the correct index sequence, reconciling different data channel assignments, and managing the resulting large volume of data. In this video, we will illustrate how to overcome all of these challenges simultaneously with a simple example. We'll start with the catalog we created in our last video, which I've linked in the description below, and end with a log display of multiple runs ready for analysis. We will be using three drilling parameters mud weight out, rate of penetration, and weight on bit as our desired data set. To accomplish this, we will follow four simple steps. Browse our catalog, select the data of interest, retrieve the data as a data grid, and display the data. We will be using WITSML data provided by Energistics as our sample data, Petrogrid's PGXML to retrieve and process the data, and Microsoft's Power BI to browse, select, and display the data. Let's begin. With PGXML and Power BI correctly configured, we can easily browse our overview catalog to see what data is available in our database. As we can see here, Energistics Well A has 350 log files. To browse what logs are available, let's go to the log header page. In this page, we have three catalogs, a list of the wells and well bores that have logs, a list of all unique mnemonics in the database, and an even more detailed list, which includes log header information of every instance in which the mnemonic was used. To select our data of interest, we'll use the filters panel on the right hand side. Let's narrow our search to Energistics Well A and to time indexed logs. As we add filters, we see all the tables dynamically reflect the filter criteria we've set. Let's select three mnemonics that address mud weight out, rate of penetration, and weight on bit, respectively. As you may have noticed, some mnemonics may be named differently but refer to the same type of log. We will address this issue in another video, but for now, we'll retrieve the top three mnemonics prepended with GS. To retrieve the data we've selected, we will input these parameters into PGXML's getLogs procedure and execute the procedure from within Power BI. This can be done using SQL or Python. To see the results of the retrieval, let's navigate to the log curves page. Here, we can see we have almost 2 million rows of data with a summary of maximums and minimums. Below, we have the actual time index value pairs with a corresponding ID of the file from which it came from. To see our data displayed in a graphical chart, let's look at the log curves visualization page. Here we have each mnemonic displayed in its own line chart. We've customized each chart such that the runs are all color-coded for easier identification and analysis. This entire process is easily repeatable and auditable. If we wanted to retrieve the same mnemonics but for a different well, all we'd have to do is change the well name parameter. Thank you for watching this video on WITSML Analytics and Power BI. If you found this video informative and helpful, Please share it with others and let us know by leaving a comment below and giving this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to be kept up to date whenever we release new content, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. In our next video, we'll be learning how to splice logs with Microsoft's Power BI. We'll see you then.